Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'da habit fil al question was asked what should I study in university to make it easier for me to move and work in Saudi Arabia any suggestion uh, this is a good a personal question and but I'm going to give a public answer because uh, it can be beneficial for others and I guess I'm going to use this as a time to mention some important things and First and foremost, uh, if you're in university and you're a younger person, I would say the better thing is is to just atlab al ilm. First, seek knowledge or finish your university and then go seek knowledge. Secondly, I would not predicate my university and everything else to come study and to come to Saudi Arabia. And the reason is things are very different than when I came here, uh, and things are changing by the minute. It's radically different as far as jobs and the future for ex for expats meaning people who are not from Saudi Arabia. And so it's a and that that I could write a whole book on it and I'm not going to mention many things. But what I will say is is that you need to focus on what's going to make you happy. And you need to focus on what's going to make you money. Because the bottom line is for a lot of people who are students of knowledge, even the ones who have studied, they've graduated, they're doing this, they find they don't have a place, they find that financially they're strapped and they can't even do what they were trained to do, which is share the Islamic knowledge. So I am encouraging the youth, those people who are starting out on their, their journeys as young adults and so forth, to, first and foremost, look to those things which you enjoy. And number two, you don't want to, and number two, you want to uh, do something that's going to hopefully pay you something. So yeah, you could study now and do university to come over here and be an English teacher, but that's really closing down. It's not like it was before. Uh, radically different in the packages and so many things I could talk to you about, and this is not really the time and place to do that. However, uh, it's th that's not the future. And so what I would say is very important uh, to emphasize that point of doing that which you enjoy. I think that is imperative because, you know, something that makes you decent money, hopefully, and something that you enjoy because it is, you know, I can speak from experience uh, about making a lot of money on something that you hate, making money and disliking a profession you're in or a job that you're doing or something like this. Some people are very miserable. There are many people out there who... You know, and I've known people who, uh, you know, have were on Wall Street and different things in the rat race. They were making big money and they left it to become teachers or whatever. They felt more fulfilled. So I think it's very important to chase that which is fulfilling, that which is going to uh, make you money. And if you're still uh, think that, you know, that that's what you want to do, you want to do that so you can come and work in Saudi Arabia. You also have to realize most of those jobs, you're not going to be able to necessarily do Talib al -alm. That those jobs demand a lot from you. They don't want people to come and be tulab al ilm, you know, as workers. You know, a lot of jobs, they want you to focus on their job. So I know people, I know an engineer, may Allah bless him, who's a talib al ilm in Medina. And he's still in Medina, hanging in there. And he's done a lot of beautiful talib al ilm. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala preserve him. And but that's not easy. You know, he's probably had a high level of engineering and has gotten where he has some independence in his job. And so that's why I say doing something that is in high demand. If you're a good business head person and you can, you know, be in business administration, things that they might need engineering, IT, you know, maybe perhaps there may be a future for you. To a degree, of course, in the oil industry, but uh, some of those jobs, you, you won't have the opportunity to do Taliban. You'll just be working in Saudi Arabia. And it may not even be in a very uh, ideal environment, especially if you're an oil rig or something like this. So, my advice, I think I've said it, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with Alman Nafi, Ruskin Taibo, Alman May Allah uh, bless you in your decisions, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Forgive me for anything I said that was incorrect. And anything I said that was correct was from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.